Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and let me welcome you to the Smarter Home. This is a sub channel on my YouTube channel where I talk about smart home stuff. The very first video we're gonna kick it off is an application. This is the must have application for home automation. If you have an Amazon Alexa, if you have smart locks, if you have Philip Hue bulbs, LifeX strips, anything like that, check this application out. This application is called Stringify and let me show you how I use it. So the one big problem with the smart home is that there are so many different objects, switches, and hubs, and everything you wanna use, you're bouncing between three or four applications. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to control all of that. And the best part about this application is that it's 100% free. And you can download it right now from the App Store or the Play Store. And also, they've been so kind in sponsoring this video. So let's dive into it. So once you get the application installed, you sign into account and then you head into things. And then from there, you can select all of your smart home objects. And once you go through your setup, you are now ready to make a flow. You can pick from physical objects like a hub or a switch to a digital object like a button, an email account, Twitter, anything like that. And it's also a social element too if you wanna share flows with friends or you know someone else that has a smart home and you wanna see what they're working with, you can do that in here. If you need a bit of inspiration, you can head into Discovery, and this lets you find suggested flows, and they're separated by categories. Once you head into a category, you can now see all of the flows. You can pick up a flow and then modify it to make it fit your setup, or you can look at them to get a better idea of how flows work. I have a lot of flows set up right now, but let me walk you through some of my favorite ones. But before I do that, let me show you how easy it is to make a flow. Just press the plus button and click create a new flow. From here, select the objects needed for this flow. So press the plus button and tap on the objects you want. So let's do a quick one. Let's pick on Alexa so we can actually use our voice for this command. So we'll pick the hue bulbs in my basement so we can see the lights turn off. So right now we're going to drag Amazon Alexa and then drag the on off switch from the dojo lights over. Now we just draw a line connecting them and then click on the gear icon to configure it. So with Alexa, you can just say Alexa, tell Stringify to, and then you fill in the words. We'll name this one test. Then we'll head into the lamp, we'll select turn off. So now we're heading to our hue thing, and then we'll select turn off. Let's save it, and that's it. Now when I say Alexa, tell Stringify to run tests, bam, the light's turned off. It's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty much how easy it is to set something up. So let's dig in and let me show you how I have mine set up. So let's start with something pretty easy. Porch lights on at sunset. At sunset, every day, turn on the lights outside, then send me notification. And let's make sure my door is locked. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Next, we'll head into a flow that I use every morning, and this is Alexa Good Morning. When I tell Alexa Good Morning, the following happens. It gets weather information, and it says the weather report over my speakers in my house. Then it launches into a wake mode. And I configured wake mode in a different flow. So let's pop over to wake mode so you can see what all wake mode does. So wake mode turns on stone wall, turns on my lamp, my dojo, the living room, and all the hue lights in the dojo. Also, it sets my temperature to 72 degrees. So anytime you see a mode and the mode is set to wake, this is what it's gonna do. These setups are pretty easy, so let me show you one with an if command. This one looks at the weather, and if it drops below 50 degrees, it sets my heat to 72. Only if it's after 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And lastly, I have Alexa Good Night, and this one is another one that I use daily. I tell Alexa Good Night, and it launches my away mode, which turns everything off and locks the door. And when it's all said and done, the Sono says Good Night. Look guys, the way I have things set up is only scratching the surface of what Stringify can actually do. So I have triggers all over the house. I have some when the windows open, I have some when the back door opens, and I even have one where my wife and I both leave the house, even at separate times, it sets the house to away, and then when we arrive, it actually sets it back to home. So it's a lot of things you can do with Stringify. Um, I have tons of profiles in here. So if you wanna see more on Stringify, how to use it and how it fully interacts with my house, go ahead and smash that like button, go pop, pop, pop on that like button and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about Stringify. Are you guys gonna pick it up? 
Are you guys going to actually use a smart home? And you know, let me know what you're thinking. And if you like the smart home content, let me know too, because I have a home and I want to make my home smart and I want to share it with you. As always, guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you like the video, you know what to do. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace. Say it again. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's him. Hey, yo, real talk. Opinions gonna be sharper than 4K. Scope squad. Eat it up. Sim it and saute. Ninja got reviews and brands galore. You ain't never seen a channel like this before. No hashtag.